Hello Internet, Adopted Mike here, and in this video we're going to take a look at this kind of obscure uh, water block uh, from Zotac. This is their liquid cooling upgrade kit for their, we can take a look here, GTX 580, 570, and 480 graphics cards. It says it's compatible with the Zotac versions, but it would work for uh, any reference one, although being that there's Zotac branding on it, it may make sense to use a Zotac card. Uh, other than that, your EVGA card will look like a Zotac card. Probably no huge difference. Um, I mean, just depends if you're a Zotac fan or not. But anyway, we'll take a look at the box here and what it includes. We've got an assembly guide. We have, let me take this out of the way here. I can get it to stay. We've got the water block itself here. And then take out the radiator. Get a better look at it. So here is the bottom of the water block. So you can see it's got all the contact pads for the RAM and other chips, as well as the GPU in copper there. And we also have the radiator and pump assembly so the pump would be here and then we have the uh, coolant tubes and we've got a three pin power connector that goes through the whole thing and it actually comes out to control the fan as well too so the three pin here powers the pump and sets the uh, four pin so the fan can be controlled via the four pin back to here so just one one hook up to your motherboard you want to give this guy 12 volts for sure and then back over to here so we'll take another look here so this will just it's kind of not very flexible tubing setup here unfortunately it feels like it uh, well it does spin a little bit so that might be all right but yeah basically so we will install this on top of the Zotac card and then we'll take a look at it uh, all done. Actually I'll walk through the installation process anyway. And I found the perfect candidate for this transplant. We'll use this Zotac GTX 580. Just a reference design here and we'll get started by removing the stock heat sink and fan. And there's the card. Now we'll just get this cleaned off a little bit.
Okay, got her all cleaned up. Okay, so assembly is obviously the reverse of the disassembly. Okay, so the finished product is here, and I'm a little concerned. I'll have to test this thing out. Uh, the GPU screws actually didn't go in all the way, although it does appear that it is flushly mounted to the GPU. And um, I kind of discovered why the hoses aren't very flexible. Um, it's actually designed to be installed just like, if I can get this in frame, this. So the card going there and then this going to uh, the exhaust of the um, case. Well, let me see if I get a little bit better in frame. There we go. So similar to about this where a normal GPU would be in PCI Express slot 1 and then this would go out to vent outside. So what I'm going to do is I will install this in a system and we'll do a little bit of testing anyway and uh, I'll show you the after product. One other thing, it did come with an optional smaller brace. Uh, I probably will install this being that I'm not going to need this double slot anymore and uh, it's really not doing anything. I mean it's fairly flimsy. When it used to be attached to the old uh, heat sink it actually had some rigidity to it but now that it's only attached on the um, the outputs here it's just kind of flimsy so I don't think it's going to add any support structure to the card so I will definitely be removing this and installing the slimline uh, we'll put this in a case and uh, do some testing see how it goes it's also worth mentioning as well too that not all of the screws um, were reused and I'm assuming you know being that this is sort of universal for 480, 580 and 570 that there's a like the screw holes around the GPU then that was kind of surprising actually too uh, you figured of any of them that would be reused it'd be the screw holes around the GPU but you know they don't go to anything unfortunately they just uh, you know, I double checked them off camera, but yeah, nothing goes in there, nothing goes in. T a, well, maybe, uh, nope. And this one here appeared, but to uh, 
it definitely stops when you put it in, but there's no threads on the other side. So, you, so anyway, there's uh, five screws that were not reused here. Well, plus the the two on the end. There was nothing behind there. So yeah, just just note if uh, you do get one of these that it is okay to have screws left over. So after plugging in and testing it out, um, I had some pretty horrible idle temperatures and as soon as I put the GPU under load it immediately started creeping up to the 90 degree um, very very quickly and I noticed that the output um, actually coming out of the radiator wasn't changing it just felt you know normal I guess um, anyway so I took it apart and upon further inspection as you can see here the uh, thermal paste didn't really expand out that well and then I noticed that it's actually indented to well not really indented but the 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 contact surface actually doesn't come out far enough away from here now all the RAM chips and everything uh, you can see well I don't know if you can tell or not but they indented onto the RAM really nice and some of the VRM there uh, I've removed those anyway for inspection but I noticed they all had indentations of where they were hitting the chips properly but this did not contact the GPU block unfortunately and I'm not sure why but definitely I tightened it down I made sure I, I double checked it and every time I was getting blotches similar to this with even more on the GPU it just wasn't hitting this and then spreading out there's just no contact pressure here whatsoever on the GPU when I started to mess with it so I realized that um, definitely wasn't making contact which is kind of unfortunate because this does seem like it would be a pretty cool idea I don't know if I have a defective one I purchased this off of eBay so there's really no way to tell if I have a defective one or it quite possibly maybe the box looked like it had been opened already so maybe the seller uh, attempted to use it and uh, he found out it didn't work and so he sold it to me unfortunately and now I'm kind of stuck with it but you know you live and you learn uh, but definitely anybody seeing these out in the wild I would totally not recommend it because I just think that uh, this here is just a piece of crap and it's definitely not designed correctly so anyway again I do not recommend this uh, Zotac branded uh, liquid cooling upgrade kit here it's actually by the uh, by cool it uh, here I yeah I wouldn't mess with this for anything and take another shot again up close you can see exactly what I mean the thermal paste did not spread out at all and in fact on the GPU side I've already cleaned it off otherwise I would show it I should have showed the GPU side the GPU side actually had it was you know it had considerable thickness on it as well too uh, similar to how I applied it so it just did never it never made contact enough to push down it made just enough contact that the GPU would actually idle but it was of course it was idling at like 50 degrees which is a little a little bit too much for idling anyway so there's another good shot of it and yeah so definitely do not pick one of these up if you see it in the wild and as always thank you guys for watching